can when we, we get tired. Can I ask you about how you got involved with the uh, backyard fighting? Because um, you know, in the early days of MMA and that backyard fighting, when it wasn't it wasn't so visible, it was kind of shocking. Especially the early days of MMA, it was just that the fights were one sided bloody yeah i had a hard time watching if it was on at night i'd be like i can't watch this i won't be able to go to sleep it's too troubling and when i saw those backyard fights and it never occurred to me that it was you and someone was like do you ever see him in those kimball slice fights and i said no and then i watch and i'm like oh i remember this kid with the ponytail but you didn't have the beard can you talk about how you first got involved with that and like well um uh kimball slice rest in peace was at the same gym that i was training at in miami and they were kind enough to they, they'd see me working out and they're like, hey, you wanna you wanna fight? And, <laughs> they were uh, kind enough to let you fight in their backyard. In with their no backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and th- but he was already getting so much exposure, so I was like, wow, I, man, I can't believe this dude would even ask me, you know, to to fight there. And it came about, and uh, they said, yeah, we'll be in contact. And then they called me like three weeks before the actual fight. Hey, you still want to fight? And I was like, hell yeah, man. <laughs> they called me like three weeks later. They're like, hey, we got to fight for you. I was like, all right, let's do it. And and that was the first one. And really, I, my goal was in the street fight, but I just wanted the competition. I just wanted to get out there and compete. I knew that th- this was my final goal, to be competing for the biggest titles in my sport that I could possibly get my hands on. So that was always my ultimate goal. I just knew that the backyard fights would be a stepping stone to that, you know, to point in that right direction. And uh, and I did them. It was fun. It was, it was a little, just competition, you know. And it was so you started out there, and then how quickly did you evolve into um, like? Did you have some amateur boxing matches, or did you go straight into MMA? No, I went uh, straight into MMA. I, there was a mix-up. My boxing trainer didn't quite know the rules for for the um, uh, amateur boxing and pro MMA. Work. He's like, yeah, you could do pro MMA, and you could still do amateur boxing. It's one thing has nothing to do with the other. So I did my first pro fight MMA. I tried to do amateur boxing, and they said. If you can, you can't go back to pro MMA because you already got a pro one. But since I only had one fight, they were willing to like let it go and then mm-hmm. come into amateur boxing. And I think I got paid uh, one thousand dollars my first pro MMA fight. And my beginnings were very humble, so I was like, I can't pass this up. If I keep getting a thousand dollars for a fight, this is the way to go. And I kept doing it. And sometime down the road, maybe like uh, I don't know, I want to say like eight or nine pro. Um, MMA fights out for me, a boxing fight. But the boxing fight, you know how it is in the beginning. They don't pay you nothing in the beginning. I was already <laughs> making a little bit of money in MMA. So I did one amateur, um, one pro boxing fight. The pay wasn't much, you know, so I just, I sucked at MMA. But my first love was probably boxing, man. Right around like eight, nine years old is when I saw it on TV and I was paralyzed. Like, whoa, what the fuck is this, you know? <laughs>